All right, home slice. I-4 westbound to I-275 southbound. Traumatic injury. It's right in that bend, isn't it? We're going with wreck. Remember that wreck of that motorcycle? Which one right there? We're getting them all at the damn time. Sure, yeah. This portion of the interstate is known as malfunction junction. We get a lot of accidents in this general vicinity. We never really know what we're going to run into. Rescue for it. Oh, oh my God, can't move. You're, you're, not you're not supposed to, you're not supposed to. 30 feet from up there, he jumped. Uh, he jumped down? Yes, landed the uh, side of his face on the ground. Uh, uh, so we're trauma alert? Yeah, unknown injuries, just completely can't breathe. He's got a lack on this side of the face. Uh, Rescue four. Uh, One, two, three. All right. Our biggest concern from a 30-foot fall is we want to make sure that he doesn't have a brain bleed, and we want to make sure he's not bleeding to death internally. Ouch. That hurt? Ouch. Yeah, it hurts. Can't stop. They're starting IVs on you. What's hurting? You can't breathe. So your chest is hurting, or you just can't breathe? Ow. 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 Left side is diminished. Doug listens to the lung sounds. We can't hear anything on the left side. I can't breathe. Okay. We're worried that his lung is now collapsed. I'm dying. In the cab now. We're out. Let's go. A collapsed lung is a very dangerous situation. Breathe. Hurting really bad. It doesn't allow you to breathe readily and adds so much pressure in your chest that it doesn't allow your heart to beat. Assess those lung sounds one more time, please. You got clues right here. Is he tight? Oh God, I can't breathe. Happen. The patient can't get enough oxygen. We have no choice but to do a needle decompression to his chest. And we want to allow his lungs to reinflate and give him a chance to get a good breath of air before his body starts to shut down. How you doing, big guy? Huh? Here in the air. Assess those lung sounds. Ah. One, 164 ah. over 81. Look, uh, I think we did get a pressure relief because uh, the stats went up. Now we have lung sounds. We look at the monitor. His vital signs are much improved. Sir, are you still with us? Yeah, he's with you. Rescue for arrival hospital. You're doing great. You're getting better. Unknown age male at the location. They said the male is on the ground and haven't been unable to get up. Seven foot three and a third. Put us in rope. 817C request an EMS to location for male that fell and broke his finger. Bone sticking out. They made it a code three because his finger, his bone sticking that's out. That's literally all it says. Open fractures can be bad. It's a bone that's exposed. You have a laceration plus you have a bone that's broke. So. I'm just very curious to see this broken bone and what caused this. So that's going to be like right so up there. So it should be right. Mm -hmm. It should be like right there. Yeah, oh, look at him. He's an old man. Oh, OK. It's <laughs> sideways. You look at sideways. 3246 area. Whoa, buddy. Look what you done did to your finger. Goodness gracious. Ooh, I think it's you know, two of them. Right at the knuckle, huh? Yep, it's dislocated at the knuckle. OK. I have so. never seen finger deformity like this from just a simple trip and fall. He has a bone sticking out of his finger. Let's put a C collar and a stretcher on him. Does that hurt? No. OK. Are you a veteran? I'm no. a Vietnam vet. Well, thank you for your service, sir. Hey, right, my love, I got to put this around your neck, OK? I can smell that he's had way too much to drink, and we put a C collar on him. Being intoxicated could make him not feel pain. We're going to stand up. All right. One, two, three. Mm. All right. Get those feet under you. I don't think he can. Oh, Lord. <laughs> stand up. Come on, Bubba. Can you hold Well, this is how you feel. Oh, baby, I'm going to fall again. No, no, come on, boo. I need him again. to stop moving. Mm. Let me grab his legs. Hold come on, on, hold on, hold on. Mm. You're on that end. All right. Mm. Woo! You drank way too much tonight. Yeah. Yes, I did. You made me work for my money tonight. <laughs> He's had a little bit too much to drink, or maybe in his situation, the right amount that he's not feeling 
any of this pain. Are you right-handed? Yes, <laughs> well, I don't think you're going to be shining much of anything tonight. I'm ambidextrous. Ah, you're ambidextrous. Well, hey. Yeah. I know. Look at that thing. Yeah, that don't look pretty. I don't think those are facing the right way. I don't want to hang I can't up believe this. Oh, no. <laughs> you a <are> character. <laughs> Like I said, I'm a Vietnam vet. Thank you for your service. Yeah, I've been through a hell of a lot worse than this. I'm sure. Uh, Did you check cap mm. refill? No, not in there. <laughs> you want me to check No, it? I mean, I could do it. I just don't want him to move while I do it. All right, it. keep still. Stay still. Huh? It's Stay slow. still. It's slow in the middle. Right. But it's there. It's there, OK. Yeah. I'm concerned that if he loses blood flow to the tip of those fingers, that he could lose those fingers. So we need to get him to the hospital as quickly as we can. I'm talking to you. OK. Uh -huh. <laughs> Mr. Michael, you are something else. Who, me? Yeah. Not me. I like you. <laughs> I like you. Don't move it too much. The more you move it, the more it's going to bleed, OK? All right, baby. All right, love. And I'm going to bounce you down the street, OK? So I'll be back in a minute. OK. All right, Mr. Mike, go. Yes, baby. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. We're going to be rolling. Let's roll, baby. Let's get it on. <laughs> Let's get it on. <laughs> oh, he is 100% my new favorite patient. <laughs> well, I'm sorry this happened to you tonight. So did we learn a little bit of a lesson tonight? Yes, I do. And what's that? Not to drink so much? Yeah. Because and look what well, happened. I normally, I don't drink that much. You just felt like you needed to do that on a big Saturday night? Yes, I did. I hear you. Well, everybody deserves it every now and then, huh? Got it. I know, babe. Were you born and raised in New Orleans, or you you come from the bayou? No, I come from Alexandria. Oh, Louisiana. up north of Louisiana. Oh, yeah, Sean. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> and well, where are you from? I was born and raised in New Orleans. I'm in New Orleans. Shame on you. Bonner, well, <laughs> Shame I'm a, on you. look, I hear you, babe. <laughs> well, we are here already. Oh, yeah, it's cold. I'm going to get you a nice warm blanket when we get inside, mm -hmm. OK? Yeah. And the doctors are going to ask you some questions when we get in there, OK? Yeah. I hope they can figure out what to do with these fingers here. They don't look Not too pretty. No, 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 they don't look too pretty, do they? Oh, my God. No, you yeah. can't even do the piece on. You got a crooked piece on. Mm. Why are you messing with him like that, Lloyd? <laughs> all right, Katie's going to pull you out of here. Just keep still for me, all right, Mr. Michael? Cut that no. hand in. Because we don't want to catch it on nothing. <laughs> you got to laugh when you go into the <laughs> Safe, be strong. Let's do this. Get that stretcher in here. You're gonna bleed to death. <laughs> you know, they're not dead. I can work with them.